Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm gonna share this little mini album that I've made. Um, I'm gonna go through and show you what papers I used first and then I'll do a flip through on that. So, the papers that I used, um, I purchased from Etsy and then just printed them off myself and you get um, like background papers and then you get little elements to go with it. And it is from Citrus Journal Studios or studio, sorry. So you get these little, with little envelopes and tags, and little bits of ephemera. That's how many sheets of just cut aparts and things you get and of course I mean I, I did print a couple of these out like twice things that I thought I might would want to use two of so I cut those or cut those out print printed those out I think that's what I said <laughs> who knows and then here are the uh, background papers and another thing and I've, I've been asked this before on how I get mine print to print from edge to edge um, my printer it has borderless printing on it so i just go in and set mine to the borderless you just have to play around with your printer and see what um, options it gives you but mine will allow me to do that so that way then i can use the full sheet of paper and i don't have to worry about trimming off the you know edges so i did the same with the paper also i did print out a few extra so if you see doubles that's what that is And here is that um, ticking that I used in this one. And I do have a few here that I don't have in this album that I've made, but um, that I do plan on using for what I'm going to do here. But I used this, and it's from a different, uh, a different shop. But I'll post it in the description box below. And then I used this green in there and it's also from a different shop than these so i, I kind of wanted a few more like more solidy type or different patterns than just the pumpkins and like you know so anyways printed those and um, i'm gonna use this the ginghams i think also with this paper especially this orange this darker orange and maybe the browns um but those are from a different vendor, I'll, or uh, Etsy shop, but I'll, I'll put those in the description box too, in case you're interested where those came from. So that's the papers and stuff. There's a lot. Um, okay. And I didn't use, I didn't even end up using all of that stuff in this album. Um, I still have a few sheets left here and then of course a lot of cut aparts and things like that that I didn't use that I've already cut so just um, I'm not exactly happy with the cover of this one <laughs> um, I wanted to add some leaves and stuff and you'll see I have some on the inside but I just can't get them to work right I don't, I'm gonna come back to it and maybe try it a little bit later but I used that paper here um, I just have a doily die cut that out use a circle punch to or circle die to cut a, a base part for this little thing the side I just cut a little pumpkin and then there's the back okay and then when you open it up these are the ones that I was talking about that I used in here I just I don't know why I could get them to look right on the front so I have a little uh, closure for this bit and it just swings and I just used um, some little doily dies that I have and I just cut a couple of those out and back them to make it a little bit stronger. And I did do the second half a little bit different than I did the first because it they're kind of mirrored each other. So the back is exactly like this, um, just different papers and stuff. But I actually built it up a little bit so that it's not, um, and you'll see what I mean. Like, because when you swing it, you know, 
you open these and you have places for photos. But when you close it back and you go to close it, you kind of have to hold it down and that's kind of annoying. So lesson learned, <laughs> don't do it like that. Um, or for me, I won't. All right, and then just um, using that doily here on this, I have an acetate pocket with a tag. And I just used uh, the regular like cream color-ish um, seam binding. Okay, just use some um, dies to cut those out with. And it flips open. I use those library cards. Now on these, I printed them back, the back sides as well. And I didn't on the other ones yet because I'm not sure exactly what I want to go on each one. So I'll wait till I come to use those and then print, or I may not end up printing at all, just depends. And then um, from like here, I had them, the white areas cut out and I ended up having several of those. So I just used those pieces to make like little photo pages there, right? They're so cute. And then use the doilies again and just made a little magnet closure to hold that. And then you can put a photo there. And then it just opens up. And it's pretty plain on the inside piece on um, these parts. So, and I do have those extra pieces. So if I want to, when you put photos in, um, I can always go back and add things, right? I did add one of these here to stick um, tags or whatever behind. You could add just different little things in there. Okay, and then on this one, it has a little flap, but in that little flap, it's got these little pockets for these little tags, because you get um, several of these little tags. And I just used as the, the doilies and made little slots in there for these little tags. And I just printed on the back side of those as well. And then of course use the hole reinforcers to um, add the little hole reinforcer. And I just, um, I did ink some of the things in here, like the ephemera pieces, or if it was gonna go down on a colored piece, I did ink those and I used frayed burlap. Okay. And then the same thing here, except, you know, I kind of did the decoration a little bit to the opposite side. Um, and what's that? What is that? Hang on. <laughs> we don't need that. Okay. So did the same thing with the pocket, with the tag, and that's just uh, the acetate pocket there. And then it flips open. And I have another one of the little... Um, doilies and then I just used my circle punch and punched out of the paper little scrap pieces of paper I had to fill in those same side with the back and then the same here added those white ones okay and then I took the paper and I added it to the center now um before I go on through the other sheets that I used is like this orange ish reddish orange stripe here that the green and then this um, pale orange or peachy color they all came from uh, the same little set and that is from uh, scrimping mommy and I will post a link I think hers is not Etsy it's on coffee or Kofi whatever that however you say that <laughs> And, um, but I'll link to her channel where she, uh, talks about this and there's a link in her, her video that you can go and check it out if you want. Okay. And then just same there. And then I had this little pocket from the tag and then I had this other little tag and I just set that in there and it is, it's big enough that you can add, um, extra bits in there and then you could do a, a photo or journal in here. Same thing with the rest of the little tags with the doilies. Oh, I didn't even open this other one up, did I? Ha! Oh, I showed you it was a pocket. My goodness. Okay. Let me go back. It's the same. Just one of the ephemera bits. The little envelope. And I just stuck one of the little, like, journaling. 
cards in there. Now, guys, if you see on this green, I don't know if you can see the little lines in mine. That is not the pattern paper. That is just my printer. I have issues with it, and I just, I just use it anyways because that's just the way my printer is. It's very old, and we just go with it. Looks good. Thank you, baby. All right. And then back to this one, because we were on this one. It's the same thing. It's just a pocket. And I have one of the envelopes and just tag in there. And then I don't have anything stuffed in that one. No, no, no. You can't have my ribbons. Um, yeah, so just, you know. No. He's trying to play with my ribbons. No, mister. No, mister. And I ran out of ink <laughs> on my printer, too. So, that's why I didn't really do a tutorial part on this one. But I ran out of ink, yellow ink. And then when I printed these was before I actually had ran out. It was really low. And then when I go to print again, it, of course, the color changed. So, that's, you know, something to bear in mind if you're going to use printables that not every time you print, the colors could turn out the same. The same thing with my oranges. They were just a different color, you know? So, just uh, know that that's something that you could deal with, okay? And then the same here. So, what I did on this one, I did use the doilies, but I took um, a couple of pieces of, like, thick cardstock, and I punched a circle out, and then I just put it down where I wanted it, where it lines up here. And it just kind of builds that up so that when these close in, it just swings right around. And it's, you know, it's kind of hidden. It's not, I think, very visible, but you know, just kind of hidden there. So that's it. Um, a lot of these dies, if they're still available. I will link those as well. Um, some of the ones I have are fairly old, so I don't even know if they're still out there anymore. But, um, but yeah, I can do that. So, there is my cute little fall pumpkin uh, mini album. So, I hope you like that. Um, if you do, you can, you know, give me a thumbs up if you or not subscribed to my channel and you would like to be, um, please, you know, subscribe and click that notification bell and you'll be notified when I do upload a video. And thank you so much for watching.